<laughs> I have decided to visit again. Hello. My name is Buddha. Hi, Buddha. Welcome. Hi. Thank you for coming again. Remember before when I told you about the root chakra and how it was grounding and how I had decided as a child to experience all the chakras in the way that no one has attempted to experience them before. So I became the rocks and the ground and the flowers and the animals and those things that were inanimate. I experienced what it was like to be part of Mother Earth, Gaia, as you call her. And then, still as a child, moving up to what you call the sacral. I was too young for sexual activity, but yet I could experience the thoughts of what life is about through the Mother Earth, through the multiplying of the animals and the, and the different things that happen within the Earth that cause growth and movement. And even though they seem still much energy. And so as I move up into the sacral, I'm moving forward in my dreams. It's like I am encountering many things and moving through them. And I'm moving through them in a way that Mother Earth would have perceived. To see moving through the bushes, moving through life itself, the energy of life within me that causes eventually me to be a sexual being, a person, a being that can multiply, that can be part of the population. And I see that within me. And it is an exciting energy. It is an energy that makes me want to understand the body better. And so as I move up through the sacral, there are connections still to Mother Earth. Many, many, many tendrils and connections to the things that I had experienced. But yet, a brighter light shines because this is multiplying. This is growing. This is part of our access to the higher realms. You may think, oh, sexuality, lower vibration, but not. What is a lower vibration? Is a root lower to be attached to Mother Earth, a lower vibration? I think not. I think not. It's a higher vibration. Everything can be brought to the higher. Everything can be brought into understanding with the higher vibrations. And so as a child, as I moved through the sacral, I began to understand the feelings attached to the sacral were holy, were actually greater than anyone could possibly imagine. You must understand that the creation of man and the multiplication of man is sacred, is beautiful, a miracle. And I was beginning to realize as a child that I could see the miracle without experiencing it. But I knew someday that this would be part of my manhood. But yet, I was growing and experiencing and understanding and being part of. So I questioned many times those who were teaching me about 
the sacral and the understanding of it. As a child, many questions come, and many questions are answered, and some with difficulty because they were embarrassed to answer. But I forced an answer, and they knew that I could understand. So they were willing to give me this knowledge. And I move forward in my dreams, through things, through the forest, even through the buildings and walls. As I approach them, they fall away. And this is part of the understanding. As I began to understand, the things that I were moving through fall away, and I would be given the greater understanding in my perception. Does this make sense to yes, you? Yes, yes, thank you. And, and so, even as a ch child, I was able to understand some great truths about sexuality and the world around me in a, a sexual way and in a way connected to Mother Earth. You must remember that as we move up through the chakras, they are all connected one to another with tendrils and strings and emotions and intelligence and light. All chakras are connected. And so this chakra also opened up other thoughts connected with higher chakras. Why did it do this? because I was experiencing and asking the questions that would lead me to the next level instead of staying in one place. We must all do this. Many of us, many of you, stay in one place. It is safe there. It is understood there. But to be able to grow and to understand fully what your life, your spirit, your emotions are truly about, you must move forward in a proper order so that you may understand and sense and feel and grow the way you are intended as a human being. Does this make sense yes, to yes, you? Yes, thank you. So move in your dreams. Close your eyes and picture yourself moving forward. And pray to God or whoever you pray to that they help you move forward in a way that helps with your understanding and growth as a human being and do not be disconnected from the last chakra as you move to the next. L keep it lit, keep it energized and as you move to the next you are like a tree growing. From the roots you grow into the sky. This has been used many times in teaching but it is so true that your roots have to be firm. You cannot just live in your branches. You cannot just live in your trunk. You must live in your entirety. But first there is roots, and then there is a small growth which becomes the trunk of the tree eventually. But our understanding is low when we're down here but yet it is necessary for us to grow in a way that makes sense, that makes understanding grow on top of one another so that we can move straight high. Does that make sense? Yeah. Thank you. I am now going to leave you, but if there are any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. For I, had, as a child, would answer questions as well as ask because I was able to experience things that my leaders did not experience because of my movement in this way. And I explained to them 
that their sexuality was as important to them as Mother Earth's root, as the crown on the head. They did not fully understand at first that they are not sexually dead or not supposed to be sexually dead. Even in their priesthood, there are things that need to happen for them. To be experienced and fully human and fully vibrating in a right way. Are you sexual now? I am a spirit now. Do spirits have any sense of sex? We do have unity, yes. It is not the same as your sexual experience, but it has much intensity, just as it would on the earth. Are you still a male as a spirit? It matters not what I am as a spirit, for we are all one as a spirit. Is God sexual? He created sexual, so he must know about it. One cannot create what one does not know about. Is there a female counterpart for the God? There is anything that you can desire for the counterpart of the God. He has created himself, and he has created those things around him that he needs to help his vibration as well. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Creativity is a vibration unto itself that is far beyond what we can experience on a human level. Are you in communication with Jesus? Yes. What, what? I am I am a spirit alongside him teaching and growing and our vibrations mingle constantly. Where is your attention now? Uh, where, what is your main passion at the moment? I visit many worlds, and I come into contact with many things. I am growing as a spirit so that one day I may teach others, as I am doing now, in the, even the higher realms. Is Mother Earth sexual? Yes. Is it a female? She considers herself so. Are any other planets males? Yes. Mars is a male? It matters not which planet is male or female. Is the moon carrying female energy as well? What do you believe, Max? I don't know. I'm open. It has come to my understanding that you do not even believe the moon is a planet. Yeah. Then how could it have a sexuality? Any, oh, moon has a strong influence on us. Yes. So the vibration, I'm talking about the vibration, is it female or it does really matter? It does not matter. How about the sun? It's typically presented as a male, is it right? It calls itself a male, yes. But many spirits and many orbs and many planets can be male or female at will. Not that they change in any way, but their function changes. They react more like a male to certain situations and react more like a female to certain situations. Gaia Mother Earth is a creator of plants and animals and trees. She nourishes them and feels the feminine power of that, but yet, as an ocean, the thunderous power of her weight, she feels male in some ways when she deals with the ocean, and the creatures within the ocean seem male to her, like spawn, like the sperm uh -huh. in the sea. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Uh, the third sex. I think birth in a third human, human sex, gender on Earth, is, are we evolving to three sexual society? It will... I cannot answer that right now, because there are many 
things that affect the answer, and some of those things have not happened yet. And if they do not happen, it will affect the answer. Yes. Um, what about the law which goes, sexual law which goes beyond procreation? It would be the law of lovers who are beyond uh, procreation age, like older people. Sexuality, if grown and understood properly, never dies in the era of the life. It stays alive and can be experienced until nearly the last day. A lot of human activity goes beyond procreation, like contraceptives and females which are beyond procreative age trying to pretend that they are still being able to give birth. How irrational is that? It depends on the vibration and the reason for the activities. There have been moments in your distant past where very aged people have been able to procreate for reasons that were divine. If their reasoning is unselfish and divine and was given to them from a higher source, then yes, this can happen. And this would not be of a lower vibration. However, many of these actions are selfish and do not have a higher vibration and will come to their immediate conclusion when the child is neither full of soul. I do not have to say it. They will have a soul, but it will not be complete. What about homosexuality, male homosexuality? What's the rational for that? It's kind of, a lot of activities there are completely irrational, right? Or not? They are experiencing what they know. This is many times turned negative by views of many different people, societies, and the way it is perceived as unnatural. But for those who are truly homosexual, it is fully natural. Now, they cannot accept it sometimes because others cannot. Accepting themselves becomes the true nature of their journey as a vibration. They must find the acceptance, the truth, and the fullness of who they really are because to be something different than what they are would be a lie and not bring them to full vibration. So therefore, if they feel and are experiencing those kind of urges towards other men, they must decide if that is the truth. And if it is the truth, then they must nurture it in a way that is positive and not in a negative way. They must find the truth about who they are and why that this is happening to them this way. It is not necessarily an aberration unless they make it so. Hello. Hello. Can you I ask a question? question? Yes. yes. Are you a physical being? Not presently. Do you know what will be your future incarnation? I do not know because I have not reached that part of my spiritual vibration to know. I like wish... you, we live our lives in growth and we see things as we come up through and that is the same with spirit. We come up through and our eyes are opened a little at a time. Brian, do you have a question? Lanya, do you have a question? No, I'm fine. I am so joyful to be here. I, have, I, have I must tell you that the, one of the things that is lacking on your earth is true joy. And you see, you ask these questions about 
people and their lives and what they are seeking is true joy and if they knew that that's what they were seeking they would find it much quicker okay. I believe that you can bring a vibration to yourselves through the chakras that is unequal to an earthly experience uh, Buddha may I ask you a question yes Thank you. Have you met Reverend Sun Myung Moon in Spirit World? Yes. He, he brings that many blessings to the earth. He brings many joys. He's a joyful man. Mm -hmm. A joyful spirit as well. And his misunderstandings have now all been cleared, but he is joyful and meant well and had great understanding of the human being as it was. Well, he taught that the female organ is the female aspect of God, the sexual organ, and the male sexual organ is the masculine aspect. So there is a way to bring God into our union, sexual unions. And a lot of sexuality today on the earth is very dark, very low. So I'm not, I get confused between just enjoying sex, you know, as you we... see, the perception of sex to. has taken on a low vibration to some. But in order for it to be actually experience properly it has to be of a higher vibration it has to be of a positive movement forward mm -hmm. even in the playfulness of sexuality it moves forward in your lives it cannot become something negative that brings you down and destroys your vibration or destroys relationships it must be done in a way that is in the fullness of the body, the spirit, the emotion. Do you understand? Yes. It is hard to describe to you what sexuality is supposed to be because you are not using it the way it's supposed to be. Oh, sure, you can use it for purely creativity and having children, but there is so much more. It can bring unity and connection to two people that was never there before and love can grow and touch is important to mankind sexual touch and just affection in touch so important to the raising of your vibration everyone needs touched it is part of humanity to be touched you have to have that to help you grow. Thank you, Buddha. Any more questions? I I have more of like of a statement, not so much a question, but Buddha, it's it's really humanity. A lot, many of us are in survival mode. It's being able to become, uh, for us, becoming uh, vulnerable, uh, moving our uh, facing our fears, yes. and. That's the biggest challenge on humanity right now is being able to move out of survival into creating. You know what I mean? Yes. That is why I speak to you of the chakras. Yes. Because many people will not survive living in the branches. Right. They must be rooted. Then they must grow up through the chakras to survive. You see survival now is more difficult than some may think others I I do not know how to describe the yearning for the vibration to move up to be in a mode of survival is understandable I put myself in that mode as well I took myself out of man humanity and lived in the forests and by the streams for a great while to understand how the nourishment of the body can be done and survive without those giving things to me 
having things handed to me, and I see in your spirit a great light. You are attracting the positive to you, but you must not dwell on the negative. Because when you dwell on the negative, more negative comes. When you dwell on the positive and are grounded and bring things up, the energy up from the earth, the earth supplies. And the sky supplies because what happens when the, the roots are grounded? The sky then waters and nourishes from the sky and there are things in the air that causes growth and so therefore the sky sees the positive movement and wishes to become part of that does that make sense to you yes it's just when we're moving toward a more I guess just getting out of our ways getting out of the mind and more into the heart you know, and that self-appreciation of who we are yes. and what we stand for. I mean, coming to a planet and forgetting who we are, that takes a lot of guts and courage on all yes. levels. So it's really finding the love of self that's probably yes. the greatest gift. Yes, you are very, very true. You must value yourself, your body, your mind, your spirit, your sexuality. It all must be honored and treasured. It all must be full, and that is how and why I have come to speak to you about growing up through your chakras. Thank you. As we grow through the chakras, uh, does the role of sexuality diminish? Because now we use sexuality in many ways. When we are lonely, we use sexuality to bring people to us. And that loneliness it comes from the survival mode. When we become telepathic, we will be connected to other people in non-sexual ways. So would the sexuality diminish? It could. It depends on your path. It depends much on your growth and where you move in your life. But sexuality does not have to diminish. It may step aside slightly to make room for other things and movement higher into the realms of understanding but it does not necessarily have to diminish it is part of the base of the tree the sap flowing up through the tree must be there and you may see that as the blood but the semen and the blood are the same when I look at people I often see a different sex than what they are, spiritually. I think maybe past lives shine through and a beautiful female might behave as a male and although she would be straight but she would still be very much masculine and the other way around. Yes. Do you have any insights into that? How? Your past lives do affect the life that you live now in the way that they are the lessons learned or the lessons not learned in your past. These will come to light if you are moving forward. If you choose to repeat the same lessons over and over again, you will come back in lower vibrational forms. This is how that happens. Because if you would live a life not learning responsibility over and over again, your responsibility level will be brought down so that you can learn it in a more rudimentary, basic way and be successful so that you may move up again. Does that make sense to you? Yes, thank you. Yes. Uh, how about polygamy versus monogamy? Uh, you know, being uh, truthful to your current partner and desiring more. You must keep your oaths. You must keep your promises. But if you have no promises or no oaths, 
and you are experience love with many people. Can this be wrong if it is not hurting them or you? There are situations where this kind of love is very acceptable, perhaps not on your planet. But it is acceptable in the way that if you are pure in your love, if you are not trying to harm, if you are just wanting to connect in a more spiritual and direct way to some people, this is one way that can be understood by both. You may experience each other and learn and grow from that without jealousy, without... I do not know the word here. But it is possible. But you have to be in the a vibration of acceptance, a vibration of growth, not in a negative, this is just sexual, but this is a connection. Two people are connected, important, beautiful connection. If it's just sexual and not on any other level, it, it is not really a connection. Uh, Jesus is told to have incarnated on earth hundreds of times since his appearance as Jesus. Is it true and do you also incarnate and materialize on earth many times since your Buddha's... Jesus has incarnated more than once, but that does not mean all spirits do. And that is all I will say. Any more questions? Thank you. Hey guys, you have to unmute yourself if you want to speak. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say something. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, I, I found out, I first learned about chakras about two and a half years ago, and instantly when I learned about them, I that's how I actually began m meditating, because before, med before my idea of meditation was boring, and then I learned that there was a whole separate system in us then I learned how to focus on those areas of my body and start at the root and go up. And yes. eventually, I, it, it forced me, the more sensitive I got to the energies, the more I could feel everyone else's everything, their emotions, their feelings, their physical yes. feelings. Um, and then it forced me to exude, like, extreme excitement and then it took it eventually got me to the point where it literally wouldn't allow any of my darkness to stay in me and it all had to come out at once to um, a period of like yes deep depression but then after that after this last through this last year I've gotten past that and now I'm to the point where I literally connect my root chakra to the core of the planet raise it up yeah. and connect my crown chakra to the sun and the energy that I experienced the other night was just the most intense thing I've ever experienced and it literally like put me on my back like I couldn't even and then and it's just it's just helping me look at everything I do in life all the time like just connecting yes. to my chakras, literally, and most of all, my my heart chakra, yes. just feeling them and sensitizing to those energies in myself, awoken yes. me beyond anything I could have imagined. Yes, you have connected your roots to the sky, and you are one beam of light from the ground to the universe. However. Now it is time for you to connect the other chakras that move out from the, the heart to gather others in to help them to understand. Now that you have experienced this kind of acceptance in yourself, in your chakras, from root to crown, it is time to expand through the other chakras that are smaller, more detailed in the body. Do you understand? Yes. 
your leadership as a being moves out from the heart chakra, the center of the light beams, and it must move this direction now. You already have this direction, but now you must move in this direction to share these experiences as you are doing right now. Do you understand? Yes. You may help and teach others how to be as aware as you are now, how to feel the joy and the excitement that the earth has to bring as a human being, as a sexual being, as a spiritual being, as an emotional being. You can be a teacher now that you know how to bring these things up in yourself. Does that make sense? You must grow out now. And that's exactly what I felt yesterday. Like it literally that exactly what you said. Like I feel like something told me that now is the time where I'm actually supposed to start teaching people things. And I just that's just, you know, I don't I, I just have to find people that will accept it. The acceptance will come. Do not fear shining your light in a dark place for a non-acceptance. This is not what the light will t has taught you, and now you know this as well. But you have to fill up the entire body with this light and let it shine whenever it can. And then you will see that you, the rejection and the acceptance will come in a way that you understand and will be able to deal with and in many cases be able to change for a positive outcome. Yes. Yes, I have actually experienced that when I was younger. Before. I cannot hear you. I actually did experience that exact thing when I was younger before too, when I went through one my first what I would call my first awakening when I was like 18 or 19. But uh, much blessings to you. Thank you. You as well. Continue on your light path. Continue moving in this direction. Do not forget to spread your branches out. They are tight to the sky, but now they must branch out. I understand. I must leave you now. Well, thank you for your visit. It was a wonderful session, and we appreciate you being with us. Blessings to you. Blessings. Please do not ignore the feelings that you have because they are important at all times. If you are feeling low, you must understand why and bring up from the earth and down from the sky the energies that will make them transform for you. Because we are transformed on earth into spiritual beings that we began as. The, the journey of an earth person is to find as much of the spirit that he was born with and to bring it out into the earth and feel the joy and understanding as he possibly can or she. Does that make sense? Yes. You have a spirit that you were born with. Bring that out. Find it. Understand it. Love it. Grow it. All right. I bid you great love and excitement in your journey. Thank you. Thank you, Buddha. Thank you for being here. Ah, uh, much joy to you all. Much love. Much love. Much love.